Hi, my name is Dr. Rob DeBeese, and I wanted to welcome you here today to the next Dr. Rob's Whiteboard Session. And I got a really good session for you today. I actually have a supplement bottle here with me, and this particular formula is a formula I use that's called Dr. Rob's Ultimate Brain HCF. The formula is designed to support healthy neurotransmitter levels uh, in people with anxiety and depression, but that's not what we're discussing today. What we're gonna be discussing is how to know and understand if you have a good quality multivitamin. And it's very easy to do that. All you need to do is understand if you have quality ingredients or not. And two of the easiest ingredients to look at would be vitamin B12 and calcium. So the most common form of vitamin B12 that they will place in a multiple vitamin is what's called cyanocobalamin. Cobalamin is the pharmaceutical name for B12. However, to make it absorbable for your body so you can digest it and utilize it properly, they have to attach something to this cobalamin, and what they will often attach to it is this cyano group or cyanide group. And yes, this is cyanide. This is the poison that you've come to know. And they will attach this cyanide to this cobalamin group, and they will make a substance called cyanocobalamin. And you will ingest that as vitamin B12. Now, it just so happens that, in my opinion, cyanocobalamin is one of the least expensive forms of vitamin B12 that you can get. It's not junk, but it's definitely one of the cheaper forms of vitamin B12. You can make a lot of it for a little bit. When you ingest that, what your body has to do, your body has to break down that cyanide and get rid of it because that's a poison. So that stresses your liver a small amount. Your liver has to work to break down the cyanide and get rid of it. And then what your body often does is your body will turn this cobalamin, it gets rid of the cyano part, and it turns this cobalamin into methyl cobalamin. And methyl cobalamin is the active form of vitamin B12. That's the form that's when it's inside your body, your body could use it to carry out functions such as energy production and uh, carbohydrate regulation and gastrointestinal health and all the good things that vitamin B12 does for us. So, in products, you'll often find, or not often, but you'll sometimes find methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin, in my opinion, is really the form you usually want. Methylcobalamin is the active form of vitamin B12. It is more expensive, it's more expensive to make, but it's better for your body because you're not ingesting cyanide. Now, in truth, the amount of cyanide you get is a small amount, but it's still cyanide. So if I have a choice of having poison or no poison, and I can make that choice, I'm usually gonna go with no poison. So if on the back of your supplement label it says cyanocobalamin, maybe you want to move more towards a methylcobalamin. Um, in my multivitamin formula that's called Dr. Rob's Multi-1, there is a methyl form of vitamin B12, methylcobalamin. And I actually wanted to show this to you on the back of this label. I'm going to step out of the screen for a second if you could see this. Uh, I don't know if I'll, if I'll be able to focus in on it. But yeah, so right there you'll see for B12, you'll see where it says here, uh, methylcobalamin, right there. And um, you'll also see, too, some of the other nutrients that are in there, like the vitamin B6. That's the active form of vitamin B6. It's also the active form of folic acid, uh, called methotetrahydrofolic acid, but that's not important. So, okay, so that's how you can know if you have a good quality multivitamin. The other thing you could look for, especially if there's minerals in it, is look over here at calcium because calcium is in all different kinds. You have calcium lactate, which is great. That's like the form of calcium that's typically in yogurt. You have calcium hydroxyapatate, which is a good bone builder. You have calcium citrate, which is pretty good. And then you have calcium carbonate, which is if you were my age or a little older, when you went to school, uh, your teacher taught you on a chalkboard. And that piece of chalk that she wrote with, and that's calcium carbonate. So if your multivitamin, multimineral has calcium carbonate in it, maybe you want to think of a better form. So I hope that helped. I hope that helped bring some light in on nutritional supplementation. They are great to supplement. It's hard for all of us to get all the nutrients in our diet. We just want to make sure we're spending our money in the right places. And we want to make sure you get that active form of multivitamins. Um, I'll put a link to my multivitamin down here and you can take a look at it. Whatever you choose or whatever you decide, you want to just make sure you get good quality because your health is important. So again, I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Uh, the old, you know, little subscribe button down there. Just hit the subscribe button and share too. If there's people you know that need help, please share this video with them 
and uh, I'll see you at the next session. Thanks. Have a good one.